Hello again. Now let's turn to Egypt, where the country has been marking four years since the so-called Arab uprising. And clashes between demonstrators and the security forces continue in Cairo as the death toll rises to 17 across Egypt. Gunfire and sirens could be heard in central Cairo as uh, armored personnel carriers moved through the city center. And witnesses said security forces had once again used a lethal force against the centers. And the health ministry spokesman said at least 17 people have been killed in protests across the country. And the heaviest death toll was in Cairo suburb of uh, Mataria, a Muslim Brotherhood stronghold. And special forces fired pistols and rifles at protesters, and eight people, including one policeman, were killed. Riot police backed by soldiers in armored vehicles sealed off roads, including those leading to Cairo's Tahrir Square, the symbolic heart of the 2011 uprising. Now, CCTV's correspondent Yasser Hakim has the details from Cairo. It's been a busy day. Several small homemade bombs were detonated in Cairo and other cities, while sources said over 15 bombs were defused by security personnel. The government accuses the outlawed Muslim Brotherhood of the bombings and sporadic clashes with police as retaliation for the ouster of Brotherhood leader Mohamed Morsi in July 2013. Tahrir Square, the symbol of the 2011 uprising, has been closed off by security since early in the morning to prevent gatherings inside. In spite of the violence in several areas, some Egyptians decided to go down to the streets and mark the anniversary of the 25th of January uprising. Official celebrations were cancelled after the death of Saudi King Abdullah, but a few Egyptians insisted to celebrate. The military, police and people are all one. The country will never be divided. We are here to say we will always be united behind our men in spite of attempts to divide us. The revolution has made us all happy and achieved a lot for Egyptians and I wish more people go down like us to enjoy that day. Most Egyptians stayed home on the day to avoid being caught up in this violence hoping tomorrow would be a new day and a return to normal life. Yasser Hakim, CCTV, Cairo.